just raise your voice to him. time lift your voice and let's sing it as a family of faith Let the anointing be present. I pray that this night, Lord, in your matchless name, let yokes be broken. Let burdens be lifted. Let the embargo of the enemy be removed from your people. I declare that this night will be a night of a supernatural shift. I declare that destinies are altered for the better. And that you will take the glory in Jesus' name. Can we pray one or two prayers before we sit down? This night I want you to do three things. Number one, I want you to believe earnestly everything that will happen. Believe that your life is about to experience a shift. Believe sincerely. God will not gather in vain. God has not called us to seek him in vain. As much as we are all here, both those inside and outside, I want you to take your mind off every distraction. I want you to even take your mind off me. And I want you to focus on God. There is grace sufficient tonight. There is no problem that you came here with that you are going back with. If, I, if you believe, let me hear a better amen. amen. Number two, I want you to pray when I say pray. And let's trust God for miracles in this place. God has been speaking to me from the beginning of this week about open doors. And I think somewhere in the month we are going to talk about that. But I believe that there are people here who certain doors for your destiny are supposed to be open now. Do you believe that? Whether it is a door of favor, whether it is a door of opportunity, whether it is a door of grace into another level in the spirit. Some of you didn't come because you are sick. You came because you are hungry and you are desperate for another dimension of God. Whatever it is you came here for tonight, those doors are about to open. And they are going to open you to the bounties of the fullness of God. Lift your voice and say, Father, every door that has been shut against my life, let it open this night in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open doors, open doors. Over destinies, over families. We declare open doors. Come and pray at the back. Make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are participating. Mele bronde bregadila bahaskapa. There is power in the 
the name of Jesus There is power in the name of Jesus There's an anointing in the name of Jesus To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain Hallelujah Hallelujah Prayer number two before you sit down Oh God, I insist for a miracle this night You didn't come here to watch any other person you didn't come to see people carry their testimonies and go. And then you return back the same way you came. Oh God, I insist this night for a miracle. Give me a notable change. Like Jacob held the angel that night. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Someone desperate tonight, open your mouth and pray. Insist for a transformation. Insist for breakthroughs. Insist for a miracle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hey. Anamase, anamase, anamase. Ayananamase, akalabade. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain to break every chain. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. How desperate are you for a touch? How desperate are you for a visitation? How desperate are you for a change? To cry like Bartimaeus, son of David, have mercy. A change for my family, a change for my life, a change for my ministry, a change for my career. Kalabaro soto bronde gebelekiya. Eba raka baraka to rabaka bariaba. Hallelujah. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. We lift our voice in praise. It's you that we see. It's you that we see. Hey, there is power in your name. Hey, miracles happen in your name. We lift our voice in praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Tonight, I want you to listen. Tonight, I assure you that there is a mighty and a tangible atmosphere of the presence of God here. But I tell you what, tonight, many of us will not recover from it. Something definite is about to happen to your destiny. In fact, hear what the Lord is telling me. Some of us who came without an expectation, you'll be surprised at the way God will visit you today. It all happens when His power is made manifest. The Bible says, through the greatness of your power, shall your enemies submit themselves. Some of you are here because there is a change that must happen to you. That are here, it looks like you have been fighting under a lead. Listen carefully, listen carefully. There are some of us here, it looks like you have been struggling to break through in one area of your life or the other. It looks like there are certain things that refuse to move or there are certain things that refuse to kickstart. This night there is grace available. I'm telling you. I see God bringing change in finances. I see great miracles that God will do here. Lift your hands. The power of God is going to come on somebody. I'm hearing a shout in my spirit now. And there's somebody that the hand of God will come upon. And when that happens, I will begin to minister. But Father, that person that you have marked for this time, for a shift. Lord, I pray that your presence will be strong in this place. There's going to be a shout. You will hear it now. The power of God is going to come upon somebody. Inside and outside, I declare, let there be a cloud of the presence of God. Let there be such a saturation of the glory of God in this place. I declare the ministry of angels. I declare the move of the power of God. And I declare that the grace of God be made available tonight. Help that lady at the back. I'm hearing a shout. And after that, I'll start to minister. I'm hearing a shout, but the hand of God is coming on somebody. This person, this is your own moment of visitation. Maybe not the rest of the meeting. But Father, let your hand come upon that one soul. That one soul. It looks like it is outside. It looks like it is outside. That's it. That's the shout there. Mighty warrior, ready. Just help them outside. Jehovah. Hey. Mighty warrior, ready. I'm going to count to seven. God wants to arrest demonic yokes in the likes of people. I don't know why God is starting like this. But there are people that are under all kinds of demonic yoke and bondages. That devil will let you go right now. Father, I place an anointing on this shout at the count of seven. Whoever is under any form of demonic oppression, inside and outside, let your hand be strong upon them. And let there be emancipation. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I sense that anointing is strong. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, and now seven. I arrest those strongholds. I arrest those yokes now. I break those chains now. I command those devils to leave now, 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 inside and outside. Leave now. Go. Go in the name of Jesus.
Let's be still. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty. All of you. You are the mighty one. Everybody outside, just lift your hands, eyes closed. I don't know, I've never done this before, but start with the people. Father, in the, everyone that has been held captive, look, any bondage, any oppression on the, of the enemy that is on anyone here outside. Lord, let there be a cloud of your glory across this place outside. And in the name of Jesus, let those yokes be broken. Let your people be set free. At the count of three, lift your hands, those of you outside. At the count of three, I see the hand of God finding some people here. At the count of three, in the name of Jesus, let those yokes be broken. Let those devils go now, now, now. One, two, three. That's it, that's it. I release your power right now. I release your I release your power. Break break those help that lady. Do kapa Parada Abasia Pahanelema in the name of Jesus. Loose, loose. Lose, help, help her. touched me he touched me back here lift your hands those of us at the back at the back inside at the back lift your hands i'm going to walk through this aisle the power of god is always already everywhere i'm just going to walk through the aisle at the back there's going to be a massive distribution of the grace and the power of god father as i pass let your glory descend like a cloud upon them let oppression be lifted let grace be released help this woman let grace be released now now lift your hands as I pass. Let grace be released. 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 Great. Help them. Help them. I'm 
glory, glory. Your life is about to change. There is no way you are under this atmosphere and your life will remain the same. There is no way. In the glory and the honor, I see miracles, signs of wonder. In the glory and the honor, I see miracles, signs and wonder. Lord, we receive Kabaragosia under this atmosphere. Oh, Lord. We partake of your glory that is present. Lord, I receive it. Please lift your hands. I'm seeing a vision right now as I stand. And in this vision, I see some of us here ascending what looks like a staircase. I see like a staircase and I see some of us going up. There are people that the hand of God is going to come upon right now. God is giving you a shift in the anointing. That's what you came to receive. You are not really sick in your body. But you need another dimension of the spirit upon your life. Lift your hands. That lady, that lady straight behind the camera. That lady straight behind the camera. Yes. Bring her. Come. Yes, you. Come. Please lift your hands. Inside and outside. Father everyone that is here desperate for another dimension of grace another dimension of the anointing i'm about to pray now some of you this is what you came for a shift in another level just hold my hand my dear something fresh is coming upon you today your life will never be the same your life will never be the same it's already heavy on you as you leave this place, go with another dimension of the Spirit. There's power in this place, I tell you. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, your name is God, Emmanuel, your name Please lift your hands. I'm seeing 7 to 14 people. That shift in the anointing that I spoke about is about to come upon you now. Another measure of grace is coming upon you. You are stepping into another level. Father, wherever they are, inside, outside, let your hand find them out. It's going to be massive, I tell you. It's going to be very strong. You are stepping into another level. I see an ascension in the spirit coming upon those 7 to 14 people. Father, inside and outside, 
let your hand find those 14 people right now at the count of seven step into an unusual level of grace an unusual level of the anointing an unusual dimension of the spirit one two three four five help them six seven eight eight Take, step into that anointing. Step into grace. Step into grace. Outside, outside. Step into grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. From the front way to the back. From the front way to the back. Haya, haya. Oh, yeah. I tell you, there is a shift, a shift in the atmosphere. Some destiny is under pressure by the power of God to change. Like night to day, your life is about to change, I tell you. Those of you outside, make sure you participate. Let your faith reach out and make a pull on the power of God that is present. And the power of God was present to heal. And the power of God was present to set free, to deliver, to break shackles, to uplift men. Closed everywhere. I can't describe what I'm seeing now, but this is unusual. It's an anointing, I believe, is the spirit of joy, and it's going to come upon some people. And let that be the sign that your life has shifted from where it was. Listen, just listen. Eyes closed everywhere. I see the anointing coming upon a few people. 
and they will literally begin to jump and dance eyes closed I don't know how this one will happen but I see people jumping and dancing father from my left to the right from the front to the back inside and outside I declare let that strange anointing for joy come upon those ones as a sign for what you are already doing in the spirit the joy of the Lord is your strength let it come massively upon them all over this place eyes closed everywhere don't worry I just see people jumping and dancing let the hand of God find them right now outside inside outside literally you begin to jump you begin to dance is a mighty manifestation of the spirit of joy I release it now I release it now I release it now I release it now all across this place I release it now I release it now I release it now I release it now the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me and know seeing in the spirit right now there are vessels that God wants to anoint and what I, I can describe how I can describe what I'm seeing now is the spirit of prophecy it's going to come upon seven people now some of them are outside it will be very mighty in fact you literally begin to prophesy and scream under the power Father, the count of seven, find those seven people now. By the spirit of prophecy, let it come strong. One, two, outside, find them. Three, four, way to the back, way to the back. Five, the spirit of prophecy is falling upon people. God is anointing men. God is anointing vessels. Step into that grace now. Step into that grace, help us. Step into that grace. Five, six, and now seven. Take it. 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 Immortal God, invincible, immortal. The one with the hair. Yes, come, please come. Immortal God. No, the lady, the lady. Okay, just come. Hold my hand very the hand of God is still finding people all over this place the hand of God is still touching people some of you this is your moment this is where whatever it is you came for is being settled please lift your hands that's it all over this place my dear come can I pray for you just look at me. Look at my eyes. Something fresh is coming on you. I feel it on my left hand. It's coming on you very strong. 
Father, grace. And whatever God has not planted in your life, in the name of Jesus, go! That's it. Who came with her? I set you free by the fire of God now. Whatever has not been planted by my father, be uprooted now. You came with her? Who is she to you? Your friend? What's her name? Naomi. Huh? Okay. I need to minister to her. Hold this mic for me. She's free. Immortal God. Lift your hands. Shh. All of you here. Lift your hands. All of you. Okay, join hands. Just join hands. All of you. And lift it up. I'm feeling fire on my left hand. That's why I'm coming to this place. Lord, I stretch my hand in the name of Jesus. Let there be an unusual grace upon them. As their hands are joined, let there be a mighty anointing upon them. At the count of three, step into that grace now. Let burdens be lifted. And let your people be anointed. One. Two. Three. Take it now. Take it. Take it. Help them at the back there. Take it now. Fresh grace. Fresh grace. Strange dimension of the spirit. Something happened, and now I know he's me Bakalo bakale makuta, yekumbra kata bareka subria bahabarando kaparodes. Meriko sotele ba mo kratis, e ba kombrati la ba kalamasia. Se pronda kapoti a kapo kaina, vetako pariele kepara naso. God is asking me to pray. Lift your hands. Just shalom everywhere. There are people who have been molested by the enemy, and it is true dreams. Your time of deliverance have come. God is about to separate every connection with demon spirits true dreams true dreams true dreams already I see the hand of God touching a lot of people already already father let there be agitations and I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost let those demonic attachments be cut off let those demonic attachments be cut off as I count to three Holy Ghost, anyone in this hall or outside or online that has been manipulated through dreams, through dreams, through dreams, your oppression came through certain dreams. Every time the enemy wants to kickstart delay or a pattern in your life, certain dreams will manifest. Your deliverance has come. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I place an anointing upon this shout. As they shout Jesus set them free right now by the fire of God set them free right now by the fire of God at the count of three I wanted to shout Jesus everybody inside and outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus from the top of your voice and those demonic connections through dreams are going to be altered right now by the power of God one two Three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I separate you by fire. I command those spirits to leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Help, help us. Leave now. Abroskete Rekotoba Yakata, Rekoskeperia Kata, Shabrata 
There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. All eyes closed everywhere. I'm seeing a very peculiar demonic case. This one is not for everybody. But I'm going to ask the hand of God to find those few people and there will be deliverance. You had a dream. You ate something in your dream. And strange negative things began to happen around your life. Your time for deliverance has come. I don't know how we'll do this one because I literally see some people vomiting. Whatever you have ingested in your system that is from the pit of hell, it will manifest and come out now. Please, eyes closed. Just make sure you help your neighbor in case the ushers cannot reach them. I'm feeling fire on my right hand. That means the angel is standing here now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Eyes closed everywhere. Inside and outside, from the front to the back. By the ministry of your angels here. Anyone that was fed any poisonous substance in their dreams... And the enemy has used it to manipulate their destiny. I don't care how long that dream has been. Or how long that affliction has been. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it manifest. And let it be removed from their systems. Just be still everywhere. Don't worry. I'll count to ten. Just for now. No keyboard. For now. Eyes closed. I'll count one to ten because this is a very strange case that God wants to. This is a deliverance that must happen now. Father, as I count one to ten, whoever was poisoned or fed anything in the dream, and through that the enemy has manipulated their destiny to cause delay, to cause retrogression, to cause affliction in their body, in the name that is above every other name. I declare, let there be deliverance. As I count to ten, let there be mighty deliverance in this place. I command those substances to manifest and come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Outside and inside. One. Two. That's, that's it. It's already happening. Three. A very strange case. Four. I'm seeing somebody outside. Five. Six. Seven. Manifest and come out. Manifest and come out. Eight. Nine. And now ten. Out of them now, out of them now, 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 I set you free, I set you free, I set you free, I set you free. Just help them outside, just help them. Kala braka sota la brande kele boso pata, kila branda kapro no kesi kila bakaronde se kemiya, ida makroza kreti hila kana masupra tila masoba. Min cross katabrande ze brakule hama. Ilash kabranda brade kis kamalada. If you have them, bring them. I want to lay my hands on them. Bring them. Inside, outside. Those people, bring them. 
Emmanuel Emmanuel Just bring her, let me make contact with her head I seal this deliverance now I seal this deliverance now Make sure you guys are careful with them Because it's going to be very violent as I see it Let her go let her go, you foul spirit. Let her go now. Let her go now. <laughs> Your name is called. Go now. Go now. These are very strange demonic cases. This is not a teaching service. I would have taught you the different ways physically by which people can be manipulated. Father, let it come out of her system. This lady may vomit. I don't know. <laughs> we, I don't like all these kind of things, but that's what will happen. This lady may vomit. You are, you are holding her, back? Okay, let me put my hand. Just put your hand around her, waist, her, her stomach. In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. And let this destiny be released now. 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 Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. This lady is not done yet. God is not done with her. Come. Is it not written? Strangers shall hear my voice and obey. And they shall come out from their hideouts frightened in the name of Jesus I command every strong man bow and come out now bow and come out I loosen your grip I loosen your grip I loosen your grip out in the name of Jesus mm. your name is God can you pray for just one minute? Everybody, lift your voice and pray. This is miracle service. There are things that God must set through this night. Emmanuel. Just pray wherever you can or wherever you are. Emmanuel. I told you she was for me. I saw something. Come on, pray. God is touching people tonight. Yay! This place from, from that lady, from that lady, huh? Yes, from your row, down to the back. Yeah, lift your hands. From this row, one, two, three, four, five, six. Lift your hands. I can't describe what I'm seeing, but the anointing is going to come upon some people. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. Holy Ghost, who are you empowering in this place? At the count of seven, find them. Find them. Find them. One. Two. Fresh anointing. I see it coming upon people here. Three. Four. Five. Six. Help her. Seven. Touch. Touch, 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 touch. All of you here, from that lip, from all of you. Just hold your hands, all of you here. Hold your hands. 
I release an anointing right now from the left to the right. Lord, let it sweep across them. Let it alter their destinies right now. At the count of two, take that fire. Take that fire. One. Two. Take it now. That's it. Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Nipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art, hold my hand, my dear. Me, Adam. I wish I could come outside. I don't know why the man is with me. I, God is really pushing me outside. I don't know. Oh, mercy, great. Thou art well come. Can I lay hands on you, ma'am? Can I lay hands on you? Just sit down. Just sit down. Omnipotent Father of mercy grace but welcome in I see the Lord healing somebody of hepatitis. You are here. I just heard that. And with that sign, I'm going to minister to the sick now. Hepatitis. I see God taking hepatitis away from somebody now. Wherever you are, as you are under the sound of my voice, the Lord is healing you now. 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 Not tomorrow. Not later. Now. The Lord is healing you now. Hepatitis is living now. I'm seeing a woman, listen. I'm seeing a woman. It looks like you have an affliction, like pain around one side of your body. Like pain around one side of your body from head down. I don't know whether you are inside or outside, but the hand of God is healing you. Make sure you check it, confirm, and rush forward. Let's take your testimony quickly. The hand of God is healing you. One side of your body, I see pains from head down. But the hand of God is touching you right now. Wherever you are, inside or outside, check yourself. God is healing you now. And well, let's take your testimony. Can we be upstanding? I want to pray for the sick. Listen, tonight, if you came with any kind of sickness, there is no sickness that can be excused under this anointing. None. None. The Bible says that at the, that at the name Jesus, every knee shall bow. Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. Every sickness inclusive. Doesn't matter what the condition is. It's a name. But there is a name higher than every other name. And tonight God is going to set people free. All form of affliction will lift people right now. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for the sick now. My healer, I feel the anointing. You sent your word and heal. Oh, you are the Lord, my the hand of God will come upon somebody. I'm hearing a shout. And once I hear that shout, it's a sign to begin to pray for the sick. Some of you are going to be standing in for your loved ones. Some of you are here because God wants to put an end to that affliction. The hand of God will come on somebody. I hear a shout. Once you hear that shout, whether inside or outside, let me know. And I'll pray for the sick. Hands lifted. 
you sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Now don't sing, just allow me to sing. You are the Lord that He led me. You are the Lord, my healer. Such an anointing in this place. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord. Once that shout happens, I'll begin to pray. I just, I feel the Spirit of God hovering all across this hall. You sent your word and healed my disease. Mm. You are the Lord, my healer. I'm about to pray. Every disease condition, every infirmity is coming under the mighty hand of God this evening. God is bringing healings to bodies. As soon as I hear that shout, I'll pray. But I'm seeing somebody, uh, what, what this looks like, a paper I'm seeing. It's like a medical report. I'm seeing it, and it's like it's squeezed with somebody here. If you are the person, please rush forward. I'm seeing a paper, like a medical report, and it looks squeezed. The paper looks squeezed. I don't know what it is, but it has something to do with a medical report and the paper is looking squeezed you came with it wherever you are rush forward God wants to put an end to it and you heal my disease and you can come with that paper you are the Lord this paper I'm seeing is short it's not it's not very big it's just and it's squeezed you sent your word and he'll please find out what they are coming for mm -hmm. outside please lift your hands i see a cloud just hovering outside i see a cloud of the glory of god just hovering outside in the next 60 seconds father let that cloud touch somebody outside whatever it is you came with whatever burden let it be lifted Whatever desire under that cloud of his glory, receive a touch. In the next 60 seconds, receive a touch now. That young man putting on white outside. Yes, lift your hands and look at me from there. I see grace. Lift your two hands. Grace is coming upon you as you are looking at me. Step into that grace now. That's it. Help him. You are the Lord. My healer. Who is that lady or that woman with that one-sided condition? One-sided condition. Like pains. One side of your body from your head down. But it's one side of your body. I see pains. God is about to heal you now. Make sure you are sensitive. In this atmosphere, God is touching people. Don't ever be distracted at any point. It's a miracle service, so let's use the time to minister to God's people. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, the lady in front of the person wearing white at the back. Yes, the lady wearing red with your hair. Yes, yes, just come, my dear, come. I want to pray for you. Something is about to come upon your life. You sent your word and heal my disease. I'm seeing God healing somebody of a kidney condition. You are here. You are here. Not a way. Kidney condition. Can I pray for you? Just hold my hands. Father, let there be a fresh deposit such as you desire. 
fresh. The hand of the Spirit rests upon you. You are the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes. The medical report. We can't hear the mic at the back, please. Yes. Come, come, sir. Let them see you. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes. You talk about a somebody's... medical report. Yes, sir. Okay. You talk about a paper and this squeezed paper she brought is squeeze. Yes. And this diagnosis is the diagnosis acute appendicitis. Acute appendicitis. Yes, sir. Who is the person? Okay, oh my daughter. No way. God is healing the appendicitis now. You be God, you know be man. I rebuke that appendicitis now. Fathers, I point to her. Let that devil get out now. 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 Melt by the power of God. You be God, you know be man. Yes. Sir? You talked about a woman having... Okay, pains. pains. Mommy? Yeah. Pains? Are you still feeling it? You were carried with wheelchair. With wheelchair. Ah, ah. Come, mommy. Your time of healing now. Come. Just hold my hand. What side? What side of your body? This side. Just, just put the leg like that. Just, just pull it out like that. Father. Healing by the power of God. Help her. Let that devil of affliction leave strength from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet you saw her limping when she came out back create space because she's about to walk create space create space there i want her to walk now she'll walk perfectly heal in the name of jesus mommy come let's walk She was limping when she came out. She was limping. Jesus. You saw, you saw her when she was limping. Mommy, walk. Walk. Clap your hands and give God praise. Give God praise. It's over. Any pain? No pain anymore. Come, mommy. We perfect it. We perfect it now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Can we pray for the sick? Wherever you are, if there is any infirmity in your body, put your hand at that spot. Or if it's a delicate part and you cannot put your hand there, just place your hand on your head, your right hand on your head. I'm about to pray. Very short prayer. But there will be massive miracles. Please, after I pray, check yourself check yourself and if you notice an improvement or you notice you are healed rush forward let's take your testimony and disgrace the devil this night in the name of jesus place your hands where the infirmity is if you are standing for somebody place your right hand on your chest god is going to heal them right now there's a young man you are standing for somebody there's a man you are standing for somebody and the person you are standing for is a woman i'm seeing And as I see you, it looks like you are dark in complexion. And right now, that woman, God is healing her where she is. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against afflictions. I come against infirmities. I come against sicknesses. I come against every oppression of the enemy. In the bodies of your children. And in the name that is above every other name, under this mighty atmosphere of the anointing, let those diseases leave them now. Amen. Let the spirit of infirmity leave them now. Amen. Let the spirit of infirmity leave them now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm praying now. Every eye condition be healed now. Amen.
eye condition be healed now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every condition with the ear. I'm seeing somebody looks like your left ear. You usually will have pain, pain, pain around your left ear. Pain and the pain is usually inside. Pain around your left ear. And every condition of the left ear or of both ears. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Amen. Be healed now. Amen. Be healed now. Amen. Every bone condition, be healed now. Amen. Arthritis, be healed now. Amen. Arthritis, be healed now. Amen. There's a condition I'm seeing with somebody. I don't know what this is. But sometimes you literally will just find your body shaking parts of your body or your entire body you just find it shaking i don't know what it is but god is healing you right now wherever you are amen in the name of jesus be healed now amen every respiratory condition be healed now amen asthma come out now amen asthma come out now amen in the name of jesus amen i wish you could shout a better amen amen there's somebody outside. I'm seeing a chest condition outside. And then I'm seeing another person inside. But I'm seeing outside. A chest condition. Put your hand on that chest. You are putting your right hand. It's your right hand I'm seeing on your chest. God is healing you. Please get that person. I'm seeing your right hand on your chest. Right now, God is taking away that pain. Get that person and bring them. Every respiratory condition be healed now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pain around your lower and your upper limb be healed now. Amen. Be healed now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every kidney condition be healed now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every liver condition be healed now. Amen. Be healed now. Amen. I rebuke stomach upset of any kind. Stomach upset of any kind. Stomach upset of any kind. Be healed now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I rebuke any form of ulcer. Right now. Come out of their bodies. Amen. Come out of your bodies. I'm seeing a fair lady. God is healing you of ulcer. You are fair. God is healing you of ulcer. God is healing you of ulcer. You are fair. I'm seeing you fair. And you're not very, uh, it looks like you're slim. God is healing you of ulcer now in the name of Jesus. I'm still praying. Lord, you spoke about hepatitis. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke that demon. Amen. Hepatitis A, B, or C. Leave that body now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Kidney stones. Kidney stones. God is healing you right now. Amen. God is healing you right now. Amen. Press that place. You will no longer feel the pain. Press that place. Kidney stones. Press that place. Amen. Around your hip. God is healing you now. Press it. There will be no pain any longer. And when you discover there's no pain, come out and testify. In the name of Jesus. Every condition with the blood right now. By the power that raised Jesus from the grave. Whether it is sickle cell. HIV. Whatever it is, every condition with the blood, whether you are here or you are standing for somebody, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed right now. Amen. Be healed right now. Amen. Come on, I can't hear your amen. Be healed now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And healed my disease. You are. Also, there's an instant miracle here. Just hold on. Just hold on. You are the Lord that He led me. You are the Lord. There's a lady. Oh God. Can I pray this? Yes, sir. 
every infection in any delicate part of your body under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus I command that infection to go Amen. I felt I felt the anointing as I said that. I felt the anointing. There are people God is healing of that now. If it is a boil, I command it to dry up now. Amen. Now. Amen. Now. Amen. Now. Amen. Now. Growth of any kind be healed now. Amen. Growth of any kind disappear now. Amen. Oh Jesus. Oh the glory of your presence we your temple give you reverence so arise to your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace, in your embrace, your presence now fill this place. Oh, the glory! God is still healing people everywhere. Of His presence. We give you reverence So our eyes To your eyes And be dressed By our praise As we glory In your your presence Father I declare in the name of Jesus every affliction that was not mentioned I stretch my right hand the right hand of God is glorious in power all across this place and at the overflow those listening in on line I declare let your healing power flow heal them of every disease of every condition let that headache go let that headache go amen. unusual cough let it leave you now amen let it leave you now amen in the name of jesus amen thank you father we give you praise now i want you to check yourself check yourself in the next 60 seconds if you notice that god has healed you maybe the pain is not there again or the um, infirmity, you can't feel it again. Please rush to the front. Let's take a few testimonies before we just close. Check yourself, everybody, inside and outside. And your presence. Can I just walk around? Oh my Jesus. Can I just walk around? Yes, sir. I don't know, but I feel there is an anointing that will come upon some people. No, 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 no movement. Just be still, everybody. Just focus. As I walk, there is an ambience of the glory of God that is walking with me now. As I pass, I see the anointing coming on some people. Just be still everywhere. Just be still. Receive that touch. Receive that touch as your presence. Now feel this place. Some of you, you feel like something coming on you gently. Some of you feel like a weight. That's the glory of God. Harabakasudaba. Lord, I stretch my hands towards those at the overflow. Let the same glory that I feel now rest upon them. The same glory at the overflow. At the overflow. The same glory. 
receive that touch. Receive that touch. Your prayer. Now fills this place as your presence receive that touch. Now fills this place. Receive it now, it's yours. Receive it, fresh fire, grace. Let the burden be lifted. Muta akranda kreti kila bakons kaprida kaladida somanda kai. Godwin, stand from where you are. Just stand. Stretch your two hands towards me. Stretch your hands like you will receive something. You will feel something come on you, Father. I stretch my hands towards Him. Let it rest on Him. Let it rest on Him. It's an emp empowerment of the Spirit. Let it be released upon him. I declare unto you a new season. Woo. I declare unto you a new season, says the Spirit of the Lord. The burden is lifted. Just help him. I unto you a new season. A new season. A new season. Na 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 makaya de na 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 now fills the place mama yes just just stand stretch your two hands towards me towards me father i release your angels right now touch your daughter let every desire be met by the power of god that rests upon you now by the power of god that rests upon you right now Envelop her in your glory and let this be your season to receive. Let this be your season to receive. Help her. Your presence. This lady. Please come. And your presence. Check yourself if you have been healed. Come. Rush forward. I want you to hold my hands with your two hands and look straight into my eyes. Just look at me. That's it. Now feels this place. Something is about to happen for you, sir. Something is about to happen, but God is restoring you. Restoration, says the Spirit of the Lord. And from where you are, you are about to move by the speed of the Holy Ghost. You are about to move by the speed of the Holy Ghost. You have been held in one place for a long time. But Father, as I lay my hands on him, step into that grace. Speed in this season. Speed and restoration. Speed and restoration. It's your presence. Woo! such a glory in this place yes talk to me sir let me hear the testimonies sir you made a declaration that there's someone here with a heart uh, chest condition yes and he is here bro Hosea had the chest condition for three days back since three days back he has been having this condition. after making the declaration instantly he's healed and free now he has had the chest pain for three days for three days now yes, sir. come sir come come up as your presence three days how intense was it so much but god has healed you now you you can't feel anything father let it be perfected and let the weight of the glory of god come upon you amen god didn't just heal you but there is grace upon your life and God will begin to use you in this season. Step into that grace now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Uh, any other one? Any other person? 
If you have been healed, please rush to the front. Please, don't be shy. Come, let's seal it. Let's perfect it now. There's somebody God is healing right now. I'm seeing a pain around your leg. One of your legs. I see God healing you. Right now, as you are seated, you can feel something going through your leg now. Now. Slowly going through your leg from top to your foot. Wherever you are, God is healing you. Rush forward very quickly. Oh, there's such an anointing tonight. There's another miracle here, Papa. Yes, sir. Go ahead. She came here with ulcer and naval pain. Ulcer and, and pain around your navel. Yes, sir. For how long? It has been disturbing you for how many years? For years, since secondary school. Since secondary school. Yes, sir. That's like how, how long? Up to 10 years? 2000. That's about 10 years. Chest pain, ulcer, right? Yes, sir. And your navel. Yes, sir. And what happened tonight? It's gone. You are sure it's gone? Yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. Come, let's perfect it. Ten years. Gone forever. We seal it right now. In the name of Jesus. And there is an anointing upon you. You will begin to heal the sick. In the name of Jesus. Help her. Yes? Papa, sir, this Quickly. Is Wati, yes, sir. Wati James. Who? Wati James. Wati That's James. Yes, sir. Okay. She had an eye problem. Eye problem. Yes, there's a pain, like a pain in her eye that pains her always. Okay. Since the last last year, November. She had Since last year, November. November. Yes, she had that pain. And two of her sights yes. normally pain her. Yes. Since early 2021, this year. Okay. And when it starts, she, she can't sleep. But right wow. now, as, as the prayer was going on, she had no pain in her eyes and the sight is healed completely. Since she November. Totally, since November, sir. Glory. Oh. Since November, the pains around your side and then your eye. You can't sleep because of these pains. Yes, sometimes I lose sleep because of the pain. Wow. And now what happened? Well, as the prayer was ministered, I can move my eyes without feeling pain. All of a sudden, side. you can move your eye. Yes. Glory! God is God of suddenly. God is God of suddenly. The Bible says in a moment... In the twinkle of an eye, you will not know when that affliction left you. As God is healing their bodies, God is touching your finances this moment. Amen. And it's gone now. So the affliction is over. The pain is gone. Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Father, perfected in the name of Jesus. Go and serve the Lord with grace in your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let me hear that. Sir, yeah, this is Sister Rahab, Rahab Kefas. Rahab Kefas, okay. Yes, sir. She has been having ulcer since when she was young. Wow. And now she says she's totally healed and My free. dear, come. How long? Since when I was small. Since when you were Wow. I should be well over 10, 15, 15 years now. Who did you come with? The power of God is just so strong on her. Who came with her? Your sisters are here? Okay, okay, your cousin. Okay, okay, okay. And God has healed you now. You can feel it again. You are sure? What's the sickness again? I'm, I'm, I'm in the spirit. I'm just seeing. Ulcer. So you go and eat the food you cannot eat. Huh? My dear, not only has God healed you, but you will become a vessel for the healing of nations. Amen. Step into that grace right now. Amen. Your life will never be the same. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Sir, yes. this is Sister Rahila. All right. She has been having left uh, leg pain for the over one week now. Leg pain? Yes, sir. Which, which leg is that? The left side. The uh. left one? Yes, sir. Okay. And she's now healed after by, the declaration. By the power of God. You were the one I spoke about with pain around your leg. There's a man God is showing me. I'm still seeing a man. One of your legs, God is, as you sit down, God is healing you. You are a man right now. As you sit down, the power of God is on that leg and God is healing you. How long have you had that pain? One week, For sir. one week, yes, throughout sir. the week, it was unbearable. But God has healed you now. 
What could you not do without the, with, with the pain? Huh? She can't walk straight. You can walk now straight. Can walk. Okay, walk straight. Let's see. Come on, somebody give God praise. Give God a shout of praise. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. It's done, my dear. Come. Father, we perfect this healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Glory. Baba, yes, this sir. is patience. Yes. She came with, with a pain. She has been diagnosed with a kidney stone mm. for the past three years now. She came with, with a pain. Yes. But right now, the pain is no more. Kidney stone. The pain. Kidney stone. Three years. Three years. You can't feel the pain. You can't feel the pain. Can, can, can you touch... Touch, my dear, just touch the side, the place where every she time to, there was pain. Yeah. her sisters to massage the that place. place. Yes. Just look at me, just look at me. Something is coming on you. God is healing you right now. Three years, kidney stone. I wish you could celebrate God better. Pastor Moses, what kind of, in this kind of condition, what kind of treatment would they give? Surgery. And how much would that surgery cost if you do it in TH? What's the range? I, I'm just trying to make you quantify what God has done. Three years. My dear, why won't we serve this God? Come. Father, it is perfected forever. In the name of Jesus. Go and enjoy your life from today. It, um. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no one. Come on, say you. Make sure you run to the front. Brother David, Brother David, he yes, came sir. here with neck pain. Yes. And he's checking the pain. He nowhere to be found. The pain was not there. I, I, I laid hands on you, right? Yeah. I held you. Yes. I the, held you, right? The pain was a serious. I had a long time rehearsal with saxophone yesterday. Okay. So I oh, you're a saxophonist. I learned how to Okay, play. you learned. Okay. So I came in with the pain. I've been trying to check. The pain is gone. And I've had more sound for quite a long time. And the pain is all gone. So you believe when I say God is about to restore you? Yes, sir. Come, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfected by grace. And I don't know what you do, sir, but there is a heavy financial anointing coming on your life. Amen. Receive that grace now. Amen. Explode. Amen. You know him, sir? Can we together? You can, he's your colleague? Yes. Ooh. Sir? There is an unusual financial anointing coming on you. I know it when I see it. I know it. God is about, forget about your salary. I'm not, don't look at that salary. But I declare unto you by the Spirit of God that within the next 90 days, the wind of the Holy Ghost will blow around your life. Man. There's going to be an unusual shift. Amen. Hold on. And everything that the devil stole from you, recently God is restoring it Amen. do you know what I'm talking about everything that the enemy stole from you recently 
God is restoring it back. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You're healed. God bless you, sir. You're healed. Yes, let me hear that one. Sir, this is... Uh, we are out of time already. Okay. Apostle, this is Sister Nora. She came here with a left leg pain. Leg pain. For over a week now. And now she's healed and free. Which leg? Both legs or, or your left leg? Left leg, sir. Raise it up like this. Bring it down. Run. Let's see. Run to the choir stand and run back. There goes the power of God. Come on. Give God praise. Glory. Perfected in the name of Jesus. It's done. Amen. It's done. Yes. Papa, sir, this is the same issue. Leg pain. Leg Brother pain. Barnabas, for three days, My God, he has God not been it. able to, he has been feeling the pain when he came in. But right now, the pain is no more. Literally, I see him still come. Yes. I need to perfect it. I, still, I see him still raising it carefully. Yeah. Look and leave. My brother, leave. Just look at my face. As you look at me, the pain will leave. Look to Jesus now and leave. It's recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. Now raise it up. Raise it. Bring it down. Raise it up. Stamp it on the ground. Raise it up again. Stamp it. Do you feel any pain? Hey! Come, let's run. Let's run. Yeah! Run here and come back. Run. Hey! run. Run. Run and come back. Run again. What's your name? Huh? Barnabas. Huh? Barnabas. Barnabas. It happened like magic, right? It's recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It's recorded in this world. Jad young man. In the middle. Just look at me. Just keep looking at me. Something is coming on you. It is only that you look. And we step into that grace now. This record help him. God it in his word. Hallelujah. It is that you look. My dear, I don't know you, but God said you are stepping into a season of surprises. I don't know you, but God said. Or do I know you? You know, people who know me and I don't know them. I just heard one word. Huh? What's, what's her name? Huh? Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't know this one. Surprises. Amen. Because there are doors that are about to open. Amen. The blessings, listen, the blessings that are coming will confuse you. Amen. You know what? You know those kind of blessings that they don't come one. They come like double or triple. You have to choose. Father, I release it in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's done. Yes, let me hear two more testimonies and we are done tonight. I feel a strong anointing on me to prophesy on finances. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Yeah. It is only that you see. Yes. Daddy, there's a miracle here. Go ahead, sir. Mommy said she's having ribs problem. Reeves. For over 10 years, she could not stand for 20 minutes. But she has been standing for two hours now. I want you to celebrate God like it happened to you.
is an elderly woman in tears. This is not scam. When it ha when it's real, it's real. Ten years. My God. Father, if there still be any affliction in anybody here, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who died and rose from the dead, let that affliction be over now. Amen. Let that affliction be over now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Mom is over. It's over. The Lord renews your youth as the eagle. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Papa, this is an amazing two-in-one testimony. Tell me. I like, I like to hear. Yes. Yes. Six years ago. Yes. In his working place. Yes. He had a pain in his leg. It was an, it was an arrow they fired you. Exactly. You hear me? As soon as he mentioned the pain, I, saw, I literally saw the arrow. It was in the morning it started. The pain started in the morning time. Yes, sir. Yes, it was an arrow you were fired. Not all afflictions are, from, are, are, are natural. So yes, he takes ahead. traditional medicine. They okay. even took him to the village, but he came back, they still send the traditional medicine. Okay. But he said, ever since he stepped his leg in pneumatic, yes. he said he's no longer going to take the medicine again. Again. And right now, the pain in the leg is over. Has gone. Has gone. See, you can walk literally. The pain is over. Hey! Go down again. Hey! 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 Walk there. Walk there. Hey! Hey! Six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Six years. Yeah. Hey! Give God the praise. Hey! 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 Second listen. Hey! The second testimony is Yes. Let's he hear. has a pain in the chest. Yeah. But it's not a sickness. He lost a huge amount of money. And that amount has caused him pain in his heart. But right now, the pain is over. That's the second testimony. One of the times when I was walking to the back, the Lord told me, the Lord showed me this. A man who lost some money and is being restored. And I see God giving somebody 50,000. Amen. I saw, I saw that a lot. I just, I saw, I saw that amount, 50,000. Those of you outside, you had better say a big amen. Amen. It's, it's okay, sir. Come, let's seal it. Father, in the name of Jesus, as God has healed you, God is touching your finance. Amen. You will experience unusual favor. In the next 21 days, may God turn your life around. In the name of Jesus. It is done. God bless you, sir. It's done. Yes, one more and let's close. I want to speak over our lives and we'll be done. Daddy. Yes. Yes, sir. This brother Emmanuel, he yes. has been having itching all over his body. Itching. For uh, since 2018, over four years now. That's like a skin disease, right, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. And while you were ministering, he said the pen subsidized. That's why he came out to share his testimony. Father, I rebuke the spirit of affliction in this family. It's not just you. I'm stretching my hands towards you. The spirit of affliction in your family. Go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just hold on. As he stood there, I saw a shadow. A spirit of affliction. It's leaving. Thank you, Father. It's okay. It's okay. No other name then the name of Jesus come. It's done. No other. Father, we perfect it now. In the name of Jesus. And it's time for you to carry the healing anointing. Step into it now. Your hands will heal the sick. Your hands will heal the sick. Receive that grace now. Of Jesus. Can we rise on our feet?
singing. Somebody's life is about to change by these declarations now. Hallelujah. You have Can I speak over our lives and we'll be done? Can I pray for us? Listen. These words that you will hear, I want you to believe it. Grace, is that Grace, Henry's wife? Huh? That's you? I hope you will not be ashamed. I want you to shout Jesus as loud as you can from there. God is visiting you from there. Just shout Jesus as loud as you can. Step into that grace and declare a release upon you. A release, that's it. I saw an angel standing by her and God just said she should shout Jesus. Ah. The way you are looking at me, we will not close. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. But listen, listen. I want you to believe these words. This is not a speech. This is not oratory. As I speak, the power of God is coming upon destinies. As I speak, the Spirit of God will come upon some of us. Listen. Believe what you hear now. Listen to me. Listen carefully. Believe what you are going to hear now. Keep it to your heart. And watch God turn your life around like day and night. I'm telling you. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in in the next one minute i want you to just stable your expectation before god whatever desire you have i want you to lift it up as a prayer to god i'm about to speak over your lives and declare release this june's miracle service you cannot live the same you cannot live the same lift it up to god Outside, make sure you are praying. The struggles is over. The struggle is over for you. The struggle is over. The struggle is over for you. The struggle is over. The struggle is over for you. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. For you, the struggle is over. The struggle is over. For you, the struggle is over. The struggle is over for you. Let me speak over our lives. Yes, Papa. I but wish you knew that. those. I wish you people knew that song. Yes. One of the things that happened to her, she just realized that she, she couldn't stand for long, for many years. Okay. But she has been standing. She just realized that she has been standing. You had a problem since. with your balance, but God yes. has healed you. Your and heel. You, yes. But now oh. she's, she has been standing. Let me see that heel. Is it, a regener is it a degenerative problem? Let me use medical terms. Let me see. Okay. Uh... But now, no pain again. Okay.
you know, God wants to do a creative miracle. That's why I was examining that leg. But we don't have time. But Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on her. I declare that your heels will grow supernaturally this night. Amen. You will wake up tomorrow and discover an increase. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Because God showed me that that's the problem. Your heels are, are flat. Okay, yes, one more. Uh, Daddy, while you were head minister, you spoke about a lady that she used to have shaking in her body. Yes. And this is the lady, Sister Susan. She's the one. And she's now healed and free. Come in your strength and your power. In your own special. It's demonic. But that devil lets you go from today. Amen. Come in your strength and your power. No, no. Bring her back. <laughs> you don't do like that. Come in your own special way. It's over. It's over. God bless you there. Please lift your hands. Outside, inside, lift your hands. I want to pray. There's something about tonight's impartation that as I speak, power will be released upon people. Please, let me apologize for what is about to happen because I see, I see massive impartations of the Spirit going to happen now. Some of you have been stuck in a place for a long time. Some of you, a particular side of your destiny has been held bound. Some of you, it looks like you are fighting a lead above you. But this night, God is about to give you an upliftment. I said God is about to give you an upliftment. And the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet when He spoke to me. The first prayer tonight that I'm declaring over you is the prayer for speed. Yeah. Father, lift your hands in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has been held captive by delay, by the spirit of delay, in your finances, in your career, in your relationship, in your life, whatever kind of delay that has held you, in a name that is above every other name, let the grace for speed come upon your life now. Hey! Amen. I declare, help them. <laughs> Let the grace of speed come upon your life now. Amen. The hand of God was upon Elijah and he outran the chariots of Ahab into Jezreel. I declare, let the hand of God come upon you for speed. Amen. Speed. Amen. Speed. Speed. Amen. Speed. Amen. Speed. Amen. Amen. Just help them make sure they don't enjoy themselves. Anyone that is facing any pattern of retrogression, you take one step forward today and you are two steps backward in any aspect of your life, whether your academics, whether your finances, in your family, that spirit of retrogression lets you go now. That spirit of retrogression lets you go now. Amen. Step into unusual grace for speed. Amen. Step into unusual grace for advancement. Amen. Unusual grace for speed. Amen. Unusual grace for advancement. Amen. You are here. Nobody in your family rises beyond a point. And now Satan is trying to fight you because it looks like you are the only one that will break that record. In the name that is above every other name. Amen. Let that embargo be lifted from your Amen. family. Amen. Let that demonic yoke be broken now. Amen. Be broken now. Amen. Be broken now. Amen. And I declare over that family, this is your season of rising. Amen. This is your season of rising. Amen. This is your season of rising. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift your hands. I'm still praying. The power of God is in this place. Everyone whom the spirit of the devourer has devoured your finances. You get money or you earn salary, but you don't know what you do with it. Your life is in cycles despite the income you are earning. Or money 
all of a sudden will get missing from your hand or you make investment and it is wasted in the name that is above every other name let that spirit of the devourer let you go now amen it lets you go now amen it lets you go now amen and father in the name of jesus i declare between within the next 21 days unusual financial restoration amen unusual financial restoration amen take that grace now amen father anyone that is due any form of advancement in their life whether in their career whether in their business whether in their relationships or their marriage or their family or their lives in the name that is above every other name the bible says the lord shall make my feet like the feet of the deer and set me upon my high places in the name of jesus step into divine upliftment amen step into divine upliftment amen step into divine upliftment amen put your right hand on your forehead Father, anyone that has gone through any form of demonic torment, manipulation or oppression, as I count to seven, as their hands are on their head, let those spirits live their life. Whether it is an ancestral or a generational spirit or a spirit in the bloodline, Matos Kapranda Kataka, Leparos Kiteve Kaparia Katana, Shabrons Kepra Tukela Bakaya, Keraba Subriatala Baka. At the count of seven, let that spirit let them go. Let that spirit let them go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leave them now. Leave them now. Amen. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. I release destinies. I release the individual. Amen. I release families. Amen. Father, I pray in this season, let the grace of multiplication come upon your children. Amen. If you have ever seen multiplication in your life, you are going to see it within the next 21 days. Amen. Let your resources be multiplied. Amen. Let the grace upon your life be multiplied. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, anyone that is having any problem in their career right now, I declare, show them mercy. Amen. Show them mercy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bring your hands down. I declare that your mind will be productive. Amen. I declare that your mind is open to fruitful ideas. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone that is having a problem with their mind, you read, you don't understand, or you can't assimilate. In the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle upon you now. Amen. I open that brain now. Amen. I open that brain now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Two more prayers and we'll be done. Father, I pray, whatever the desires of the hearts of your people are, I may not have mentioned it. And as I pray, I want you to picture that desire right now picture that desire and see the Lord touching you see the Lord doing it see the miracle happen within the next 21 days father I stretch my hands and I declare that in the days ahead let there be a release of angelic manifestations around your people I release answers I release answers amen let that desire be converted to a testimony amen let that desire be converted to a testimony amen in the name of Jesus amen stretch your hands before me I declare that your hands are anointed amen anointed for exploits amen whatever you lay your hands to do it is commanded to prosper amen it is commanded to prosper amen in the name of Jesus amen Father, anyone here trusting you for the fruit of the womb or standing for somebody that is trusting you for the fruit of the womb. 
from this night, nine months on the dot, ah. carry your baby. Amen. I said, carry your baby. Amen. Nine months on the dot from this night, let there be a cry of a baby in your Amen. life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, your spiritual lives. Please lift your hands. I come against the spirit of prayerlessness. Amen. Just help them because I see the power of God falling so strong on people. I come against the spirit of spiritual laziness. Amen. I rebuke that spirit that makes you sleep when you should pray. Amen. And I declare and decree step into unusual grace. Amen. Step into unusual grace. Amen. Step into unusual grace. Amen. Unusual grace. Amen. From today, let your appetite for the word of God be revived. Amen. You will sit with the word of God and you will spend hours studying the word. Amen. And I release the spirit of revelation upon you. Amen. I release the spirit of revelation upon you. Amen. May your eyes see light in the spirit. Amen. Light from the scriptures. Amen. Finally, for every prayer altar that is dead, raise your hands. I declare fire comes upon that altar now. Amen. Lift your hands. Fire comes upon that altar now. Amen. Let that prayer altar be revived now. Amen. Be revived now. Amen. Be revived now. Amen. Be revived now. Amen. In this week, I activate spiritual gifts. Amen. I activate graces and anointings. Amen. Step into a level of ease with the gifts Amen. of the Spirit. Amen. Step into a level of ease in the name of Jesus. Amen. We call it done. Amen. We call it done. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wave your hands wherever you are and just give God praise. Just wave your hands. Give God praise. While we are all standing and there is no movement anywhere, you have seen all that God has done in this place. Hands down, please. You have seen the miracles, the testimonies. You have seen the move of the Spirit of God here. And you know you are not born again. Don't live without saying yes to Jesus. While we are all standing and there is no movement everywhere, I give you 20 seconds. If you are here and you need to surrender your life to Jesus, whether you are hearing me from outside or inside this hall, wherever you are, I give you the next 20 seconds. I want you to walk to the front and meet me now. If you are saying yes to Jesus, enough of addiction, enough of habits in the flesh, enough of your past life, you want to say yes to Jesus and follow him forever. Wherever you are, in the next 20 seconds, I want you to march to the front. Don't be ashamed. And as they come, I want you to celebrate them. Wherever you are, inside and outside, if you are saying yes to Jesus, this is your moment. Don't allow it to pass you. The Bible says if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Wherever you are, you are under the sound of my voice. And you need to make Jesus the Lord of your life. Or perhaps you have backslidden. You used to be in the faith. And you want to re reconnect again. You want to rededicate your life. Wherever you are, march to the front very quickly. And I'll pray for you. In the next 20 seconds, wherever you are, inside or outside. He paid the debt. You do not owe, I owe the debt. I do not pay, I needed someone to wash my sins away. Don't be ashamed if you are hearing me now and God is pricking your conscience. Walk to the front. You are hearing me now and you are feeling bad because you are standing where you are. Walk to the front. Jesus accepts you. Jesus does not condemn you. Hey, the debt that I could never. He paid the debt. He, he paid, paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe the debt. I could not pay. I needed some. Make your way to the front now. Surrender to Jesus. Surrender to Jesus. Surrender to Jesus while you can.
or perhaps you are here listen you are struggling with some addictions or some habits and you need to be set free I want you to join this category and come out now wherever you are inside or outside I'm giving us this last opportunity God wants to set you free from the power of sin God wants to break the stronghold that is over your life win this argument don't be ashamed and stand in the crowd don't be ashamed and remain on your seat. This may be your last opportunity. This may be the last opportunity you have. Walk to the front now while you can. And begin a new life and a new journey with God. Inside and outside, God is calling you in the next 10 seconds. Lord Jesus, pay the debt that I. There's one more person that should join them. I'll give you five seconds. There's one more person. I'm seeing the person. There's one more. Win the argument over your life. The greatest miracle is salvation. Jesus said, do not rejoice because demons were subject to you in my name, but because your names are written. Those of us in the congregation pray for these ones. As you begin a new journey with the Lord. As you begin a new phase, a new walk with the Lord. God is setting you free from the yoke of sin, from the entanglement of the enemy. And the very life of God, which is a spirit, is coming into you afresh. Those of you in front, say after me. Whether you are giving your life to the Lord or you are rededicating whatever it is, just say after me, say, Lord Jesus, mean it from your heart because something is happening to you now. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe that you died for my sins. Today, I accept salvation. I receive eternal life I declare that you are my Lord thank you for saving me in Jesus name father let the yoke of sin be broken from their life every entanglement of the enemy on their life be removed right now in the name of Jesus, I declare that they are free from every addiction, from every habit. I separate them by the fire of the Holy Spirit now. And I declare from today that they are born again. Forward ever, backward never. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you all the days of your life. Receive the victory over sin. Receive the victory over the enemy. In Jesus' name. Amen.